My name is Jeff Melton, I'm the CEO of La Jolla Labs, and we're developing the world's most efficient RNA drug discovery platform. We're founded by RNA experts who have decades of experience. This is technology and infrastructure that's typically found behind the walls of big pharmaceutical companies. By combining our cloud software platform with our high throughput screening lab, we're providing these tools to the world. And in doing so, we're allowing small startup companies, rare disease foundations to actually design and develop their own therapeutics. This is something that's necessary in order to drive a competitive landscape around rare disease. In order to access these unmet needs, the cost of drug discovery has to be drastically reduced. So these are iPSCs, these are induced pluripotent stem cells. Uh, we reprogrammed them from fibroblasts in-house, transfected them with different factors to induce pluripotency. So this is going to be differentiated into muscle tissue. So here we're looking at, inside of our design software, two copies of the same gene. And so we're designing therapy for potentially cross-reactive with the father and the son. And then we can go and zoom in specifically on the pathogenic variant. Ideally, we'd like these ASOs to knock down the bad copy of the gene so that we can restore normal functionality, these proteins in the patient. This is our minus 80 where we store the uh, extracted RNA after ASO treatments. 3D4 ball format, and then we use this RNA uh, to run our qPCR assays. So once the bioinformatics team designs the compounds, we order them. All of these are compounds designed by the software. Loyal Labs has been using ML and AI for a while now in our design process. But the N of 1 therapeutics pipeline is particularly unique in that the turnaround time for drugs is allowing us to capture enough data that in the near future, we're going to actually be able to score compounds with clinical toxicity and clinical efficacy. This is what needs to happen in order to lower the cost of drug development especially in rare disease, and not only to develop rare disease therapeutics, but also to create a competitive landscape around rare disease therapies.